Hi, I'm Bruce Draper from the University of California in Davis, Department of Molecular and Cellular Biology. And I'm Cecilia Mowens from the Division of Basic Science at the Fred Hutchinson Cancer Research Center in Seattle. Today, Cecilia and I are going to demonstrate the zebrafish sperm cryopreservation protocol, which is a modification of the original Brian Harvey protocol. We will show you that working in teams of two, it is possible to cryopreserve sperm from 100 individual males in under two hours. While there is a wide range of fertility upon thawing, on average, we receive 25% fertility, and this is from a library that's been cryopreserved for over seven years. So let's get started. Before performing this procedure, first make the sperm freezing solutions. The Ginsberg Fish Ringer solution is made fresh every three days, and the freezing medium is made fresh daily with and without methanol. The composition of these solutions can be found in the online supplemental information accompanying this protocol. The materials used in this procedure can affect the rate of freezing and thawing, which can in turn affect the fertility of frozen sperm. For this reason, a list of recommended materials is also provided as supplemental online information. It is best to freeze the sperm on finely crushed dry ice, as opposed to dry ice pellets. One simple way to crush dry ice is to wrap it in a towel and pulverize it with a hammer. A more efficient method is to use a dry ice grinder, such as a Claussen Model RE2.